Hey guys, um, <clears throat> so this video is not really about this here, but uh, I felt like I should just talk about it. Um, I really wanted to try some apparently good sake for a long time. Uh, this is apparently good sake, this little bottle cost me like four bucks or something like that. Um, I got lime in there and more lime than I will in inevitably throw away probably because I don't <clears throat> I don't like buying those little plastic bottles that you put you know, like full of lime juice that you squirt into your drink like I feel like if you're drinking booze you should have a real lime in there just just cuz I don't know I'm I'm anal like that but anyway I don't know like th this is supposed to be good um you know, but it just tastes like wine with no flavor. Um, I'd much rather drink re like grape wine because uh, I just think it tastes a lot better. Um, and even though I prefer beer over the other two, um, and then you know I got my my Lunazool tequila up here, which uh, I I'm using a reading lamp for lighting here, so it's a little. A little intrusive, but um, <clears throat> this stuff's okay. But like lately, I don't know. I kind of switched from the. I I drank my whiskey and I switched over to the <clears throat> Lunazool uh, tequila, and it just I just feel like hell when I drink it. As good as that stuff is, so I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a shame because I think this stuff's good, but I just I'll drink like a shot of it and that'll be it. But, at any rate, <clears throat> that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about booze. Um, we got the X-Men Origins Wolverine game. It's in a garbagey um, GameStop case. Um, the game was 10 bucks. I couldn't... It, it was at GameStop. It was the cheapest place to buy this game. So, it was actually a game I intended to just beat and return simply because I didn't want it sitting on my shelf but it took me over seven days to beat because it's long and repetitive um, which is something I'll go into so it basically you basically play out <coughs> the story of the movie um, and it does a pretty good job of that it's not like the Lord of the Rings games while I like them it's not like those games they're like four hours five hours long because you know you're trying to stretch out a three hour movie to you know make a whole game out of it they do a pretty good job of giving you a long game the problem is it's like you do these flashbacks where like they'll be like oh what happened in Africa and you'll jump back to Africa for like the fourth time and every you know after a while all these flashbacks just went great I'm gonna have to go back to this shitty level why can't I get a new level um there's a very limited <clears throat> enemy variety. Um, there's a very limited amount of attack you have. Like, I've been playing DMC, which is the new, the new Devil May Cry, and <clears throat> going from Wolverine to that, it's just like, there's so many more moves in this game versus Wolverine, there's only a handful you can do, so it, the combat gets old very fast. Um, and the game is not over as fast as you want it to be. Um, so, you know, these, going back and forth, these old levels you don't want to play anymore gets old, um, and you have these big old rock monster things you fight, um, there's like two kinds of rock monsters, and you must fight at least a few dozen of these things, um, they are supposed to be in the place of bosses, but, I, here's the problem, okay, here's the problem that the developer probably thought about. They were like, we need to keep the mutants that are in the storyline as specific bosses, but we need bosses at the end of specific... We need these boss set pieces, but we cannot put a mutant that was not part of the story in here, because it would mess everything all up. Um, not to say they hesitated with that on the movie, because that's another topic. But... So, you end up fighting these two kinds of rock monsters um, at least a couple dozen times and it's just a drag every time 
ap eventually they just become very easy to fight, and every time they come up, I'm just like, great, I have to go through these assholes again. Um, <clears throat> overall, the game is not very challenging. The point where it does get challenging is just a frustration. Um, like, you have to fight, like, three of those rock monster guys at one point, and it's just really annoying, because you're trying to fight one, and the other one will smack you out of the way, so you have to recoup and try to go back at it, and it's just... And if you lunge at them, if you don't go at them from the back, they'll smash you, and I swear there's been times where I've, I've been... I, I thought I had them, and then they just kind of glitch, and they're just like, boom, and they get me, and it's it's all real cheap. Um, it You know, the acting is all pretty good, you know, because they got Hugh Jackman in there, and I'm assuming, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's the same voice actor that plays Sabretooth in the movie, um, and I always forget this guy's name. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, all, all the acting is real good, and the, the graphics are okay, but... Man, there are points in that game where the frame rate just gets rough. Especially around waterfalls and stuff. If you have the camera looking through this waterfall, you got a lot of particles going on. Um, all the stuff going on on screen, that, that frame rate gets really bad. Um, the, the, and since this is a 2009 game, it reminded me um, how much I hate games with jumping puzzles and all these old mechanics when the, the controls do not accommodate. For example, you'll pull a lever and then a big old pillar will come out of the ground and you got to run over to that pillar and jump on it and then jump up to a ledge or something like that. That's just a basic example. Problem is the jumping controls suck really bad. Um, <clears throat> and, and you'll go for this, this, you'll turn the lever, you'll go to make the jump and the jump does not work out the way you wanted to work out because the controls suck and you miss and you gotta run back to that lever and crank it again and then run all the way back across the room and hope you get it this time. I died a decent amount of time simply because the jumping controls suck. Um, if you're gonna have dumb jumping puzzles in your games which I think are archaic and old and stupid and should not have survived past the PS1, if you're gonna put that shit in your game you better make sure your controls are, are, you know, good enough to accommodate. Um, the final boss of the game will shoot these lasers at you, and he'll... It's so... You're, like, standing basically on top of a power plant, from what I can tell. And, um... <clears throat> so it's just this big ring, and he'll shoot... <clears throat> he'll shoot a laser at you, um... And then another attack he'll do is he'll shoot the part of the power plant and blow a big old hole in, in this area that you've been fighting on. So, now eventually, you know, you, you kill his first life bar and then he starts blowing up the power plant with his laser like I was just talking about. He will teleport to the other side of the power plant and shoot you with his laser and blow up the power plant. So you'll be jumping these gaps. And like I said, the jumping controls already suck, but he'll shoot you with this freaking laser. Um, and it's just, he'll, he'll hit you with the laser in midair and you'll fall and die. And <clears throat> I think I died once from him actually attacking me, because he'll just sit back and shoot you with the laser. And if you wait for him to come to you, he won't. He'll just keep shooting you. Um, so that killed me once. But I must have died like nine other times simply from trying to make a jump and getting shot in midair, you know, feels like really cheap Nintendo, you know, NES stuff. Um, and that killed me. That killed me over and over and over and over. And I was so upset and angry and yelling about this game, which I haven't done in a very long time. I haven't gotten this angry at a game, but I was so angry that the roommate kind of stuck his head in the, do in the door and asked me if I was okay, and then I just pull this game is stupid and horrible. Um, <clears throat> I like that they have an okay production value when it comes to acting and everything. The graphics aren't terrible. Um, it's not the worst licensed game. You know, there are other licensed games that are just freaking garbage. Um, I like that it's an M-rated game. And the question 
you know, there's like blood all over the place. Like cutting dudes in half, cutting off their legs, cutting off their heads, whatever, you know, cutting off their arms. Just totally destroying dudes and there's blood all over. Um, the question is, since Disney owns Marvel now, will we get games like this anymore? Probably not. Um, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we do. I really hope they make another Wolverine game. Uh, yeah, there's a Wolverine. I, I believe the next movie is supposed to be another Wolverine movie. I, I could be wrong, but um, <clears throat> I, I, it would be great for them to make another one of these and really put the time and effort into it that it deserves. Because the good things about this game are great. You know, the the acting is great. You know, like I said, um, it's just. It's just the bad things about the game are just so damn terrible. Like, it just feels really repetitive. Like, after you've played this game for a few hours, you've kind of seen everything that you come to see. Um, if I was some kind of journalist, I'm not pretending like I am or anything, if I was to give this game a score, I would give it 3 out of 5, and that's kind of being generous. Um... I think it is worth playing if you are going down the X-Men rabbit hole and you want to see all the X-Men movies and you want to play the game, if you want to do all that, then I think this game is a, a good addition to your um, repertoire. I'm turning the slide down because it's just killing my eyes. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good game to play if you love X-Men. If you don't love X-Men, if you don't care much for X-Men, it, it probably won't do much for you. Um, we have been watching the X-Men Blu-rays. Um, I bought a box set, which is really cool, and I'll be showing it off. It's like this thick, and it's got five movies in it, and they're super thin Blu-ray cases. It's it's all really cool, but... Um, yeah, we, we got this... I got this box set, and I, I we watched all of them up through Wolverine. Um, so I... Wanted to, I beat the game before we watched the movie. It was the only X Men movie that I had watched that I don't remember anything of because I think I was drinking at the time and my friend was kind of talking. We were, we were just kind of talking. We hadn't seen each other for a long time. It was more interesting than the movie. Um, so yeah, I, I needed to watch it again because I didn't remember anything. Um, <clears throat> now that I have the movie and the game experience together, um, yeah, I think they're both pretty decent products. So, anyway, this game, it's its really frustrating at times. If you want Wolverine, if you want X-Men, then I recommend playing it. Um, just go at it at like a couple hours at a time. Don't try to do what I did and try to beat it as fast as you can, because I would come home from work and play it for like... <clears throat> I don't know, a couple hours every day, you know, and, and, like, there was a couple times where I put, I mean, I must have put, like, at least 12 hours into this game, um, I thought it'd be shorter, I was hoping it was going to be more like 8, um, yeah, anyway, Wolverine, it's an alright game, I'm not a journalist, I don't know what I'm doing on, on YouTube talking about games, so, the, there you go, this is, this is what you get, um, get what you pay for, anyway, that's, that's all I have to say. Um, I'll look for my... I'm going to be showing off the Blu-ray box set. It's sitting over at my parents' house. We all kind of get together. Um, me and my friends and family, we all kind of get together every now and again to get one of those X-Men movies watched. When we're done watching it, I'm going to bring it back home over here and, and then uh, bust out the, the box set and show it to you guys and show you how awesome thin those Blu-ray cases are, because I'm, you, you look at DVD box sets, and I don't have any on me, but, um, I have a few Dragon Ball Z seasons, because I'm that much of a nerd, and it's like, I'm looking at it on my shelf right now, and it's, it's like this thick, you know, for all these box sets, and they did this thing with DVDs where it had to be this big, distracting thing on your bookshelf, and then eventually, I think companies said, you know, people are running out of shelf space, we gotta make these things smaller, thank God for Blu-rays, and God for common sense. Um, my Lord of the Rings Two Towers box set no, just the one movie you know, just one of those Lord of the Rings extended editions, the first time they put those out on DVD, just one of those is uh, I'm looking at it on my shelf 
Yeah, maybe it's just a little bit smaller than all of the all of the Lord of the Rings movies combined on Blu-ray. So packaging has gone a long way. But anyway, I'm rambling now. I have nothing more to say. So there you go. That, that's that's why I feel about Wolverine. And this camera's horrible, by the way. I totally acknowledge that. It's old.